My name is Anna and I am a postdoctoral researcher at the Biomedical Research Centre working on the FIM project. The FIM project is a European consortium which aims to create a computational framework for the automatic discovery and verification of information. It will model, identify and verify reports as they spread across media, languages and social networks. And our work here at the Biomedical Research Centre has focused on developing case studies to test this new framework in mental health care by combining social media analysis with electronic health records. For our first case study, we explored novel psychoactive substances, otherwise known as legal highs, and in particular methadrone. We found that methadrone users were most likely to be white, male, and in their late 20s, characteristics similar to those of users in the general population. We also noted a spike in the number of times that methadrone was mentioned in the clinical records, as well as an increase in the number of Google searches related to methadrone at a time that coincided with it becoming a Class B substance in the UK in April 2010. At the moment, we are analysing historical tweets from 2009 onwards to explore further associations with events occurring in the clinical records during that period. For our second case study, we will explore how online exchange of information affects our medication choices, both from the side of the patient as well as the practitioner. How does it influence our preferences when it comes to medication acceptance and prescription? Our next case study on mental health stigma arises from the significant role that social media have played in diffusing the inaccurate portrayals of mental illness, as well as perpetuating some of the stereotypes associated with mental health disorders. Our aim is to define if and how variations in stigmatizing chatter affect the clinical presentations of vulnerable patient groups. In the same way, we would like to examine the influence increased chatter on self-harm and suicide has on young adults at risk of these behaviours by inadvertently or not promoting or glamorising them at times. FIM's automatic detection system will be able to provide services with daily alerts of issues that are likely to be raised by patients. As a result, clinical practice could then be revised earlier than it normally would, resulting in more successfully tailored consultations. The identification of healthcare rumours will also improve educational material and awareness campaigns, as well as inform appropriate training for healthcare staff. Our project aims to understand the patient experience before it reaches the clinical rooms and provide early feedback to healthcare staff. This will enable practitioners to access information on a social dimension alongside their usual clinical dimension, making their interaction with patients timely and focused.